students, welcome to class. This book is one of the reasons I decided to quit teaching in the regular school system. If you recall, first of all, I worked as a nurse for 25 years, then I went to university to become a teacher. And I taught for nine years in the school system. I was teaching English as a second language. This particular book I used in grade two. It was ordered by the teacher before me and I never liked it. Um, some of the stuff is okay, like they have a little text, that idea is good, have a little picture, that idea is good, and they have some comprehension questions, and that's all fine. My problem was always with many of the texts. I found them to be speciesist, and I never felt comfortable teaching this kind of thing. Let's review this together, and I'll show you what I mean. So a special pet sounds good so far in the sense that maybe it's teaching kids to take care of animals, right? But you see here it says pet shop. So this girl is in a pet shop. First of all, pet shops should not exist. We should not be buying animals. They are not objects. We don't buy humans. We shouldn't be buying animals at all. There is no reason for any of these snakes to be inside these cages. Leave animals the fuck alone. Leave them in nature. Stop manipulating them. Stop breeding them. And anyway, let's read the text. Kathy is an 11 year old girl. She wants a pet. Most children want a dog or cat, but she wants a pet snake. Snakes need care like any other pet. Kathy starts reading about snakes. She visits other snake handlers. A snake handler. Imagine if that was like a people handler. I mean, what a ridiculous way to talk about snakes. Snakes don't need handlers. They need to be left alone, away from humans. Snakes must eat small animals, like rats. Well, it's true that they need to eat animals. And so you leave them alone to do their thing in nature without your interference. Kathy needs a freezer with dead rats. Can you imagine? She needs a freezer with dead rats. So who? Who is killing these rats exactly? Why are humans killing these rats? Why are humans getting involved at all? And she needs some space for a snake too, right? So as if the snake is gonna be comfortable in just a small container like this, a snake is not an object. Leave snakes alone in the wild. If they want to hunt for mice or whatever it is that they eat, let them be to do their own thing. Don't murder animals and don't imprison them. This is not the kind of life that a snake deserves. Now, snakes don't have moral agency like we do. They can't decide from themselves whether they're going to hurt an animal or not. It's built into them. Many animals do not kill other animals. Now she's ready. Oh, a little pretty snake is waiting for Kathy. Um, no, no snake is waiting for Kathy. Kathy should be taught that speciesism is wrong, that speciesism is the first form of racism, and we should not be teaching that in schools at all. We should be teaching kids to leave animals alone. There should be no such thing as a class pet. And if ever a spider happens to enter the classroom, the children should be taught to try to release that spider with dignity while being kind. Let's remember what veganism is. Many of you know that I use uh, these cardboards to write different messages on. My neighbors donate to me uh, different um, cardboards that they use, cereal boxes and whatever. Anyway, this is what veganism means. Veganism is a philosophy and way of living which seeks to exclude as far as is possible and practicable all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing or any other purpose and by extension promotes the development and use of animal free alternatives for the benefit of animals humans and the environment so if you use this definition of veganism which is an ethical code a moral code we should not be having class pets we should not be teaching kids that pets are objects we should not be selling them they should not be in containers at all this is the problem with our society that we teach little girls and boys that it is okay to incarcerate these animals who never did a single thing wrong. Also, what we need to teach in school is the fact that the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has clearly stated that babies, pregnant mothers, and in fact, everyone can be healthy vegans. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed in past videos, but I made a little mistake. I left out the L. I wrote healthy instead. So I added it just there now. So, you know, everyone makes mistakes. 
And even school principals make mistakes and teachers make mistakes and parents, everyone makes mistakes. But when we know better, we can do better and we can fix our mistake. Here I fixed my mistake and in the school system, they should fix their mistakes. Parents should teach their kids, no, we're not going to a pet store. If there are animals in a shelter, yes, we can go and adopt them. But we are not going to be purposefully breeding animals in existence to be held captive for us. If you want to know more about what my philosophy is, go to this six minute documentary called don'twatch.org. Go there. You can also go to these sites. Now memorize these. It's egg-truth.com or dairy-truth.com little dash in between. You can find all kinds of information about the egg industry and the dairy industry and why we should have no eggs in schools, no dairy products in schools. We should not be abusing animals at all. And in fact, what we should be teaching kids is how to cook vegan foods. And here is a channel where there's fun recipes. They're very short videos. They are beautiful to watch. Bosch.tv, go and check that out. Again, reminder, being vegan means being kind to animals. It means not paying people to hurt them. So here they are paying people to continue to force these animals into existence. They breed them, they hold them captive, and this is absolutely wrong. If you're a little girl or a little boy, do not ask your parents for a pet. Unless you say to your parents, hey, mom and dad, let's go to the local shelter and see if there's any animals that need us animals that are sad right now behind bars. That's something you could do. Remember the truth. If you're not vegan, you're an animal abuser. It's as simple as that. Every time you pay people to hurt animals that end up on your plate, that is the truth. Here's another truth bomb for you. Not okay to hurt animals. Um, and if you're watching this and you're vegan phobic, maybe consider stopping that. Being vegan phobic means that you are unkind to animal defenders and just seriously look in the mirror. Why would you want to be unkind to somebody who's trying to protect the most vulnerable members of our society? There are three stages of truth. Unfortunately, this got smeared a bit anyway. Okay, truth, the stuff that I'm telling you over here, okay? First, it is ridiculed. You're gonna think, oh, that's ridiculous. But second, it is violently opposed. And that is what we are in the middle of right now. That is why vegan phobia exists. Because people are just like, oh, I hate what you're saying, Miss Katie. I don't want to be vegan. I want to keep hurting animals. You must be wrong. All of this crazy stuff. But third is it accepted as being self-evident. And this is the stage we need to get to. Right now we're in second stage where people are starting to really uh, give death threats to vegan animal rights activists, just like they did to women who tried to fight for the right to vote, just like they did to the black people who wanted the right to vote. And now we are saying we demand an animal bill of rights and eventually we will get there. Be vegan, be brave. Be vegan, why? Because it's best for the animals, the environment and human health, that's why. And because you don't believe in stealing. Don't steal milk, honey or eggs. Don't steal animals' lives. Please subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell. Help me get animals out of hell. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my Instagram, here it is, That Vegan Teacher Miss Katie. It's all one word, all joined together. That Vegan Teacher Miss Katie. Go there and subscribe and send me some love. And I will be here. In the next video, I want to thank everybody for being here. And every time that you look at any kind of a textbook in the future, ask yourself, is it speciesist? Is it vegan phobic? Is it kind to animals? What exactly is it? Use your critical thinking skills. Figure it out for yourself. Thanks so much for being here. Love you guys so much. And remember, why love one but eat the other? There's no reason. They're the same. Why love one but eat the other? No reason. They're the same. Why love one but eat the other? There's no reason. They're the same. Thank you for being here. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Do 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 do.